Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the Lockman 556. Before we head into the YouTube video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Ghost Lifestyle. Now, Ghost has the best tasting protein flavors out there. Now, this one is my favorite. It's called Oreo. It tastes like cookies and cream mixed with almond milk. Make sure I get my daily protein intake. Also, if you're looking for some caffeine sources but not energy drinks, you guys can def definitely try out the Ghost Gamer. Blue Raspberry is my favorite flavor on that. But you guys head on over to ghostlifestyle.com use code frozone you save 20 percent and check out the products guys there is an absolute amazing company now all the usi rifles except for maybe like two or three are just not good in warzone 2 yet i'm hoping that they nerf the lmgs here soon um simply because they have taken over warzone 2 it's just not fun i'm i'm bored of the lmgs i'm tired of 500 bullets being shot at me and i'm tired of the no recoil in addition to those things so today we're going to be going over the lockman 556 now this is compared probably closer to the growl of warzone 1 after the growl did get a few nerfs it doesn't hit hard but it's super easy to use and it's actually is kind of fun to use so let's get into the build for you guys so we got the barrel here we have the 15.9 lockman wrap barrel make sure we are getting that extra blow velocity make sure we are getting that damage range again you want to max that out with that recoil steadiness and also that damage range now for the muzzle, we do have the Echolist 80. The reason why we want the Echolist is that we want to make sure we get that damage range and that bullet velocity, of course. And we are going to tune that bad boy all the way to the recoil smoothness and all the way to the bullet velocity. And so for the underbell, we have the FTAC Ripper, of course. That's almost in all the primaries and ARs. We're going to go into the aim idle stability on the bottom tuning here. And then also the recoil stabilization. Again, we want to make sure that's easy to use. You want to hit as many shots as possible, especially if it's not as strong. We are going to use the 60 round magazine. And now for this gun specifically, I wanted to dabble into a scope um, the 3.4. A lot of people have been saying it's not too bad. So I decided to try out the Schlager 3.4. Um, optic over the 1.0 um, like op 4 that I've been using uh, most of the time but let's try the slogger we did the 3.4 max this all the way out to far so there's less you know just the visual recoil um, and then also we are going to do this down to the ADS speed on the tuning on the left side there make sure you guys give it a try let me know what you guys think again it's not the best gun but it is simply fun to use so let me know what you guys think give it a try and um you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out, guys. What? Bro. So cute. Ah, Chuck Norris. Bro, they're just not real, man. Uh, you have the RAL LMG. Hey, yo. I'm saying. Hey, yo. Huh. Hey, I'm just saying.
thought I couldn't pull my parachute. These kids on the highway? Get off, bro. It just really is that simple, bro. It is really that simple. God damn, I'm so good. That's not too bad. Like a fucking glove, bro. <laughs> 